low battery. I'm in the setup again. I'm in the piano setup again. I like this setup. I like it much better than my room. It feels open. I'm about to go meditate outside as well. I think the darkest time of our lives are coming to us. We're reaching a point where there is a staggering amount of men that are lonely. A staggering amount of women that are lonely. You've seen it everywhere. And of course, I think it's been amplified with social media as well, but even then, it is rooted in somewhat levels of truth. Or somewhat level of truth. Like, you know, you see them single moms that cry all the time. They're like, they moan about being lonely and etc. etc. There's no good guy around, which is true. There is no good guy around. Because good guy, the good guys, the bad guys that they like, will toss them to the, to the street after they're done using them. And the good guys, the beta male the simps, just actual <laughs> weaklings, geeks, will not even be a candidate for them. They won't even consider them human. Those type of men are invisible. I don't think you possibly realize, but those type of men are invisible. Like loneliness is just the norm. Loneliness is just the day to day. They can find video games, they can find in porn and social media and all these things. And vices upon this porn, social media, and video games, they can find these three vices and they completely escape reality because reality is so un unbearably unbearable. And that's why I think when the darkest time is coming, all of us. And this isn't some conspiracy type shit. Because I'm not, I'm not that type of individual. Oh, the UFOs, my aluminum tin hat. The UFOs, I can feel the 5G networks giving me. Yeah, bullshit. I think that the more pressing issue is loneliness and how I say this. In the age of social media and in the age of communication, we all feel lonelier than we actually are. Like I know most of my friends before, before I started like putting my face on the thing, they put their face like flat down. So, like your phone, this is, okay, I got a tablet already, I'm reading books on. I'm on page. Hello? Okay. Turn my page. This, this is bugging, bro. The phone's on here. I was watching the man that over in Apple. An apple a day keeps the kidney at bay. So, this is like my phone. I'm watching the man that in a moment. Normal people would be like, oh, hey, a long time no see, etc., etc., etc. Millennial kids and Gen Z kids are like, phone flat on the table. On a voice call. Not on a voice call, on a video call. On a voice call, that's normal. But on a video call, phone flat on the table, looking at the roof. We're all socially estranged. Estranged? Socially. I don't know, man. <laughs> We're all socially estranged, and it's really catching up to all of us. I think. Especially with the introduction of COVID, it just made everyone just more distant from each other than ever. Everyone feels lonely than ever. Everyone. Even people with a popping social life, they still feel lonely. Why is this? It's because of social media. There's another point I want to touch on. And that is men. Okay. Honestly, women look better than ever. There's like what fluoride in the water, it's microplastics that increases estrogen or some shit. The fluoride in the water increases estrogen. Women look better than ever. On average, like 9% of women look better than. No, yeah, 9% of women look better than. What is this? 9% of women look better than 9% of men. I guess that statistic works. 9% of women look better than 9% of men. Women is so used to get in shape. There's so many girls that are like cute, young, in, sh in shape, and say there's ash in the water or something like that. It's a conspiracy theorist, USADA government, etc., etc. Say something like that. But 
I think it's because of. I think it's rather it's. You could say that oh, the average man has three hundred to five hundred uh, milligrams of testosterone per deciliter, which is true. And etc. etc. All these statistics, which would contribute to lower testosterone and lower men, low amount of men. So it's more difficult for women. But in in the end, I think it's more of lifestyle choices. I think it's more choices and how do I say this? Escapism. That's the best way. Oh, that's the world looking for escapism. We're so rife with escapism. It's absolutely asinine to think about. Escapism is everywhere, literally everywhere. I think you guys understand this. Babies, when babies, toddlers, and little children will be antisocial and escape into into their little iPad for hours on end without talking to anyone. That's parenting. Kids. Well, they come out from school, they finish all their homework, etc, etc. I'm scratching my lower back, by the way, not my ass. Chill out. When they come back from school and do their homework, they go on the computer and they disappear within the video game for like six hours straight without even eating. Mind you, and if they do go outside, they do de degenerate stupid habits like smoke weed and vape. The amount of kids in the United Kingdom alone and in the US alone I've seen vape is absolutely tremendous it's actually worrying because smoking believe you or not believe it or not gives you cancer oh but vapes da, 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 you're breathing chemicals from china and i'm asian There's, that surely can't be good if it's like five pounds like 50p it surely can't be good that's how that's how um that's why um that andrew take guy got so viral Breathe air! <laughs> and he's mocking them. Because it's absolute asinine to think about. It's absolute. I never vaped. I never smoked. I smoked shish once. It was mediocre. Never smoked weed. I don't drink alcohol. I tried it before. I love alcohol. Then I stopped. I was close clubbing in Turkey. <laughs> okay, guys. On holiday, but even then, I think I went a bit overboard with it. I had like three bottles of rum. Shit. I had a bottle of vodka. It was like it was like five hundred milliliter, and I shared it with someone else. But then I drank the majority of it. Then I had a bottle of wine. Wine. And this is like per week, and I was there for like about three weeks. So I go to club like once a week, or like sometimes I might drink some wine. It looked fancy with a little cup. Flowers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, flowers, yeah, bullshit. It's all bullshit. I hate alcohol. I'm an athlete, I can't drink alcohol. I'm gonna bulk at the moment, so you see the puffiness in my face, the fatness in my face. And I think I'm gonna just get, get continue to get fatter and continue to bulk up even more. Because I, like I said about another video, I'm dedicating four years of my life to bulk. No, I mean, there is repercussions. Go back a bit. There is repercussions to that. Oh. But I think I'm gonna do it for the height. Uh, that's what's important to me at the moment. My nose has been blocked all day today because of the air pollution in the UK. Jesus Christ. Men are inadequate. I guess before men are all skinny, skinny fat or fat. The rewards for male life are there for the taking. Muscle, woman, money. It's all the effort they're taking. All you have to do is take it. The majority of men don't even work out. I don't understand. I mean, I used to not work out before, but because I didn't really know about it. When I knew about it, I just something just clicked in me and I just started working out. It wasn't an immediate, immediate process. But I've been training for a year now, and I don't, I don't mind not like mass, I might not look massive when I have a sleeper build. Yeah, yeah, sleeper build. <laughs> but even then, I still don't understand like just being slim not being like skinny but being slim and not being like skinny fat that's quite hideous being slim I think that's um, very very important it's very weird um, I don't particularly like it at all I think about it and I just think about how how fuck 
the world is right now. The darkest time of our lives are coming. Everyone's just. It's like. It's too sad, especially. People are really stupid, or people are really smart. And they panic too much. Like, oh, you're too sad to be for everything, right? And I think the large. Like, predicate. No, the large majority of people are just too stupid to talk about things. They don't understand the repercussions of things. And even myself, like, today I woke up. And I just had like an intense flurry of negative thoughts. Why did you drop out of school? Why did you have a job yet? You're useless, etc. etc. These thoughts, like, a lot of people that would get high and smoke weed would get these thoughts. I don't need to smoke weed. I get these thoughts anyway. It's like my 24 7 play. Like, I feel 24 7 played by this. And until I reach a level of achievement that I'm satisfied with, I don't think it will ever stop. Um, that little voice in your head that tells you to do more. And I think. Listening to that little voice in your head is incredibly important because then it pushes you to improve. It's very, very weird. I'm in a weird spot. I'm in a weird dilemma at the moment. I don't. I, I'm not entirely sure about this. I think I'm into a radio about this, but it's quite interesting. Fuck to you guys. You can see the fat under my chin. <laughs> Men are weak, women are lonely, men are lonely, testosterone all time low. Well, we talked about money. Um, the UK economy is in a complete recession. Like I said before in another video, over a million people are in unemployment. Over a million people. Let me just gloss over this. And what we've got with the news so a flood of negative shit, bomb here, attack here, this here, that here, a horrible thing here, horrible thing there. It's just fear porn. It's fear mongering. And why? This is YouTube doing at least with YouTube, I think this is why YouTube's so goated. Because YouTube like it, these these videos don't get a lot of views. The videos are happy usually or like um inspiring, get more views. Why well, entertainment get more views? Even entertainment's better than stupid shit, honestly. I think within the spectrum of hard times create strong men, strong men create good to create good times, good men create good times create weak men, weak men create hard times, etc. So I think within the weak men create hard times, it's strong men. <coughs> um who's talking shit behind you behind my back? Sus. I think that we're in a weird pivotal time of history. A weird pivotal time. <laughs> And that is like you're seeing a lot of young men, especially like, rise up. Obviously, there's still like on social media, you're seeing a lot of them, like a lot of them, like, uh, like young, buff, etc., etc. But honestly, look around you in real life, existing reality for a moment. Everyone is fat, skin fat, fat. Everyone is mediocre. They work, they have mediocre lives. They work mediocre jobs. They're unhappy. Their dreams are dead. Everything is shit. And everything just looks downhill. I can blow my nose. Catch you guys in the next video.